6 a.m. and your boy is up. Friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and I am a second year dental student at UTHSC. Today, I'm taking you through a day in my life as a dental student. This is a pretty standard Thursday at UT for us D2s. I have lab at 8 a.m. this morning, so my 6 a.m. wake up serves as an opportunity for me to get up and going nice and early. My first step of today is to make an attempt to tame my bed head. A quick shower and it's mostly fixed. After throwing on my scrubs, I'm into the kitchen for my morning caffeine boost. I make a cup of coffee in my new eight cup Chemex and Hufflepuff mug in hand. I take my talents to the desk for some brief morning work. My desk setup looks weird right now for a few reasons. Number one, I have a t-shirt over my video light to cut down on its harsh output in my videos. I definitely need to get a new video light. And number two, my ultra wide monitor and MacBook Pro are no longer communicating. So my monitorless desk looks strange, but I still have work to do. I fire up my Blackboard to take a quiz in our pain control class. We have these quizzes weekly and they cover topics in the realms of head and neck anatomy, as well as proper local anesthetic techniques in a dental setting. After I ball out on the quiz and get a nice eight out of 10, it's back to the kitchen to reward myself with some breakfast. This morning, I slice up some potatoes and onion to throw into my cheesy eggs. These with some blueberries are a nice way to start off my day. After brushing my teeth and putting some product in my hair, I discover that on this morning, Memphis finds itself in around 15 degree weather. As a Tennessee boy, this is colder than I enjoy. So I toss on the largest winter coat that I have and head to my car to make the short drive to campus. Braving the cold walk from my car to the lab on campus, I sit down for our pre-lab lecture. This class is our D2 Spring Removable Partial Denture course. Our lecture covers the subject of major connectors and RPDs, and I take notes slash make flashcards in RemNote while our teacher lectures. After some instruction on what we'll be doing in lab today, I get my articulator and cast set up. The first step of today's lab process is to take interocclusal records to relate the mounted maxillary cast with the future diagnostic mandibular cast. We are in the process of creating a mandibular removable partial denture for this patient. Placing some PVS impression material on the wax room portion of my primary custom tray allows me to then relate the maxillary cast to the mandibular cast. After this, I can begin the process of mounting my mandibular cast to the articulator, which I end up having to do twice because I do a bad job on the first mounting. In the process, I also help out my classmate Lane by holding his mandibular cast in place as he mounts. I make fun of Jacob and Will as they attempt and fail to be successful dental students, and I make it up to Jacob by allowing him to use my e-cutter so that he can cut out retentive features in his cast. Shenanigans aside, the only thing left to do in this lab is to make my casts look YouTube ready and to check the fit of the final setup. Everything looks solid, and that is a job well done. After putting my materials away in my locker, I head back to my apartment to turn my focus to lunch. Today's lunch is a hearty vegetable soup from Trader Joe's. I add hot Italian sausage to this soup and the result is delightful. Today, I have a meeting set up for a recording of a new episode of my podcast, The Teeth Time Podcast. I get my camera set up ready to go on my desk and hop onto a Zoom call with first year Harvard dental student, Bart Vodo. Bart and I discuss his pre-dental experiences and how the Harvard curriculum differs from that of many other dental schools. Episode 17 with Bart will be live soon. After recording, I spend some time blitzing through my RemNote flashcards for various classes. Now I'm ready for some movement. It's, it's around four o'clock and I'm getting in a good workout, starting with a two mile run and ending with an upper body workout. If you know me, you know that a workout like this, even if it's a simple one, is an essential element of any good day. My post-workout routine is always the same. I head back to my apartment and it's protein shake and shower time. My protein shake involves some simple and great tasting ingredients to refuel me after my workout and the shower is always nice. After my shower, I randomly decide to shave my face. I don't really know why I included this, but it was part of my day, so there's that. It's back to the desk where I'm transitioning to my job with bootcamp.com. I'm still working through the development of our course on dental anatomy and occlusion. This section of material covers an intro to occlusion and the concepts that are relevant for first year dental students. I work through the process of creating PowerPoints, which involve finding information and even drawing some diagrams that will help students learn the material. If you are a pre-dental or dental student, check out bootcamp.com for all of your education needs. It's the evening now and I decide to light my new candle. My lovely girlfriend told me this candle was probably not worth the money at its tiny size, and I think she was right. 
but I bought it anyways and I'm lighting it tonight for the first time. I enjoy my dinner of ground turkey and rice in the candlelight and at the very reasonable time of nine o'clock, I'm in bed, ready to sleep and do it all over again tomorrow. And just like that, friends, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so very much for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of a dental student. I enjoy making these, especially because I get to just film stuff and then record a voiceover after the fact. But hopefully this video gave you a decent idea of what a day in the life of a second year dental student is like. Some of the coursework that we're kind of working on, uh, some of the lab work that is pertinent at this moment. Um, I, I do enjoy seeing the evolution of the curriculum as we move forward. So hopefully you've enjoyed seeing that as well. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from each and every one of you. Uh, make sure you like the video. That helps me on YouTube uh, reach more people like you who would enjoy seeing this content. And also make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. That way you can see when I upload and you won't miss anything. I truly appreciate all of you. You've given me the opportunity to make videos like this and I just thank you so very much for tuning in. And as I always say at the end of my videos, I will see you in the next one.